Good evening. Welcome to Conversations with Nicole. I am Nicole Everett, your host. And Conversations with Nicole is a talk show based in Tallahassee, Florida, focused on connecting the community through conversations. And today is what I call Wellness Wednesday. Wellness Wednesday is an opportunity for you, me, and my guests to talk about whatever it is we want to talk about. And tonight, my special guest is Kosi Sumter. We actually met his business partner, Ms. Taylor Parks. Last week, they both own Breathe in Color Art Studio here in Tallahassee, down in Rural Village. But Kosi is going to talk to us about using creativity to inspire holistic wellness and entrepreneurship. Cha-ching. Yes. And so I am excited and delighted to have him with me tonight. Kosi is a rattler and he's about to graduate in about a week or so. And so he's going to tell us all about that. But before I bring him on, I want to hear from you. Where are you tuning in from? In the, in the comments, put your city and the state so I can give you a shout out. We are live on Conversations with Nicole Facebook, YouTube, and on the Greater Words Network on Roku TV. So as the sign says, please like and share right now. Not now, but right now, okay? We want all of your folks to be on here because we are in for a treat tonight. So I see folks chiming in already, and I appreciate it. My cousin Denise, listen here. Denise, I love you. She is in Texas, and she is always here, Johnny on the spot, the first one. Uh, we got Ozzy Daniel, uh, our good friend out of Virginia Beach, Virginia, clinician. Thank you for being here. Benicia Hires, who is a clinician here in Tallahassee, Florida. And my cousin D Darnley is on New York City's in the house. I appreciate you. And Miss Jeanette down in Miami Gardens is joining us as well. Thank you for being here. So again, tonight we are talking about using creativity to inspire holistic wellness and entrepreneurship. So you are invited to ask questions, enter your comments. It's going to be an interactive conversation. So I am going to read some of Kosi's bio. Kosi Sumter is a systems engineer, community activist, and herbalist with a passion for improving processes and contributing to collective wellness. An Atlanta native, ATL in the house, and a 2023 graduate of the FAMU FSU College of Engineering. Kosi is on a mission to help others achieve their ultimate lifestyle. His mantra is the sky's the limit. He uses his diverse experience to help local youth, collegiate engineering students, and members of the broader community create systems to overcome known obstacles. He's a part of a number of organizations, some of which include the National Society of Black Engineers, um, the FAMU Kenshin of Brother, Big Brother and Little Brother Mentoring Program. He served as outreach chair and vice president for the Student Engineering Leadership Board. And he has been instrumental in bridging the socioeconomic gaps between FAMU and FSU students. He also served as a student representative on the Dean's Advisory Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Let's Start Here Committee. 
Um, he is, as I said, from Atlanta, Georgia, and has been active in the community, both in Atlanta and in Tallahassee. Um, on the political front, he enjoys protecting democracy. He's worked as a poll technician during the Dominion voting systems and during the Georgia U.S. Senate race runoff elections. And he's worked um, in the Big Bend distributing food throughout Tallahassee. His entrepreneurial success includes launching his business venture, CAS, Life Solutions Enterprise, which seeks to promote total body wellness through agile, robust, and altruistic product solutions and consultations to support people in creating systems to conquer obstacles. Now, this part is really exciting, and I can't wait for him to talk to us about this. But his first invention and chief product is the Sky's the Limit Immune System Support Kit. Yes, I said an immune system support kit. And so this kit is fueled by the knowledge of his self-healing ancestors. Um, it's innovative. There's a bag that includes readily accessible herbs and supplements to treat common ailments such as migraines and allergies and IBS and cramps, menstrual cramps. And so he's going to tell us all about that. So I could go on and on about Kosi, but I am going to go ahead and bring him on with us now. So y'all help me welcome Mr. Kosi Sumter. Yay! Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for having me on this evening. It's truly a pleasure. You are so welcome. So I've, I've read all of the great and wonderful things that you are doing. And I'm, again, excited to have you here. So tell the people, who is Kosi? Not what you do, but who are you? All right. Well, um, I am the middle child of uh, three. And uh, I'm in a unique position in that. I am a small business owner that's partnered with another small business owner to create a, a very unique opportunity for other small businesses to partner with us here in the greater Tallahassee area. So I uh, came to Florida a and University pursuing an, an industrial engineering degree, and uh, I'm currently graduating as a senior, uh, and tonight I will be presenting uh, my invention in the sky's the limit immune system support kit uh, essentially i have went to the through my matriculation here in college uh, i was actually asked to be on the dean's advisory committee and once i got on the committee uh, during covid i wanted to propose a solution in regards to students coming to class uh, fearful of being sick so i took the initiative to uh, do the research and talk to all of my friends and family members who were actively practicing holistic wellness to keep their family safe. And I identified six things that you need in the instance that your immune system is compromised. And I took those six things and I put them in a safe travel size container. And I've been selling them for about two years now. And it's afforded me the opportunity to be available in stores at the Breathing Color Art and Wellness Studio here in Tallahassee, Florida, where I just so happen to be right now. So I'm um, genuinely thankful for you guys uh, joining me this evening. Um, absolutely, absolutely. So we will get into, um, you know, your kits and whatnot, but I want to acknowledge a couple of folks that are on here. I see Mr. Zachary Richardson, who is here in Tallahassee, and Ms. Taylor Parks, who is watching from NYC who is uh, the business partner of Mr. Kosi Sumter. So thank you for tuning in and watching with us. So, you know, you came to Tallahassee, of course, matriculating to FAMU, the engineering school, and, you, you know, kind of gave us uh, um, the, the background in terms of you, you, you know, why you created the kids. But let's go back even further in terms of, like, why you would, um, wh well, let's go back to the business. Like, so tell me about the studio and how you came to creating the studio with Taylor. Great. So essentially uh, when Taylor and I met, we both were equally interested in uh, serving the greater Tallahassee community in that she founded the Family Dreamer Dreamers organization and I had 
recently been appointed to the Dean's Advisory Committee. And I was also the outreach chairman of the Student Engineering Leadership Board at the College of Engineering. So Taylor and I actually, when we met, we partnered on a book drive and um, it snowballed into us really wanting to, you know, develop different systems to create access to resources and opportunities for people to operate in their best self, or at least try to give them tools to create that reality. And so my, the bulk of my experience is in the aerospace industry where I've interned for the past five years. And working with cutting edge technology, you become to understand that all technology has components and the, com and the technology is only great because it has the best components. So in regards to providing wellness tools, Taylor and I have gone to the extent to use our creativity in regards to how it is that we take care of ourselves. And we've started to bottle, essentially package those things and essentially offer people opportunities to operate in their purpose as well. So um, what it is that we do is that we coordinate with a lot of, you know, other small businesses in mm -hmm. the greater Tallahassee area. And my ultimate goal is to try to create um, a marketplace in which people can come and readily assess wellness tools in regards to affirmation cards, uh, fitness classes, uh, food and wellness books and products, hair products, um, We've even had opportunities where we've hosted events and we've had uh, the, the people from the beauty bars to come in and do facials during uh, the trap and paints that we host. And okay. anytime that we host uh, what we call a trap and paint, we essentially create an environment for people to come in and express themselves in the medium of painting. Mm -hmm. We try to create a vibe that genuinely really creates uh, very much, it just brings out your creative side. It, okay, uh, okay. We genuinely try to inspire uh, self-expression and here at the studio. Indeed. All right, so we got Mr. Johnny Johnson on. Thank you for being here, Johnny. He wants to know how much do the kids sell for? Okay, so after being in business for two years, I'm mm -hmm. thankful that somebody asked this question because in business, you always have to pivot and understand what's going on with the economy. So I'd like to tell the story about how I came up uh, with the price for my kids. So originally, okay. I was charging uh, 33 33 for each kit. And each kit would essentially be a 30 to 90 day supply in regards to what it is that you're going through and how you're taking it. And I wanted to offer the kits not only as a product, but I also wanted to offer them in a subscription service and that I would deliver a kit to you each quarter if you paid $100 uh, up front. And that actually, that program actually went relatively well and it afforded me the opportunity to get the studio and to readily accessibly have kits on hand to sell. Mm -hmm. And, but I've come to understand that like, I don't want to make a holistic wellness a luxury product. I want everybody to have access to it. And I don't want it to be at a price point that is, that'll make somebody second guess it in regards to something that they need or something that they want. So um, I've been proposed to actually make a, a, an even smaller, more trial size version and offer it at uh, $20, and I'm actually working on bringing that to market um, this summer. Okay. Um, so I'm, I'm, so they're currently 33.33, and I will be, my new product, which will actually be the kit, and these will be renamed the Sky's the Limit Satchel. Okay. Will be more for your family, and if you, if you have, if it's mother and child, because the bulk of my main customers have been, you know, family members who, have young children or family members that are avid travelers. Mm -hmm. And the satchel works because they have a larger supply. But I also want to give people an opportunity to just try it out because it's really all about the education. I have an implementation guide that goes in tandem with the kit. 
And you can use the implementation guide to understand how to use the kit and what you can use in combination within the kit to achieve wellness quick. And because with uh, herbalism, everything is better together. All right. Very good. All right. I got a few folks I want to acknowledge. I see Miss Kiyoshi on here. Thank you for being here. And my cousin, Tony, who is in Colorado. Thank you for being here. So I found out about the kids um, at a um, talk that, uh, who was it? Cornell West, when he was in town, you um, were in the audience and you you stood up and, and talked about the, the kids. And I, I can't, I don't recall exactly what your question was, but I was intrigued just hearing you talking about them. And I have also been to the studio and it is quite the eclectic a creative place and space. And so there are books everywhere that are basically about like wellness and nutrition and um, self-help and that sort of thing, which is also intriguing to me as well. So I really like that, you know, you are co incorporating these things in your space. But I want to talk to you about the entrepreneurship piece because we are tonight talking about how we can use creativity um, and holistic wellness for entrepreneurship. So uh, is this your first business or did you have the, did the entrepreneurship bug bite you as a young person in Atlanta? Well, yes, this is, in fact, my first uh, business officially okay. because okay. I, I don't believe pushing the lawnmower up and down the street counts because uh, that's the I, foundation. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I've, I'm a hustler by nature. And okay. uh, I, I very much worked alongside my father for many years. Mm -hmm. And uh, he my both of my parents uh, I'm, are fortunately entrepreneurs. My mother's a real estate agent. And my father, uh, Stephen Sumter, he's a very esteemed building contractor in Atlanta, Georgia. Gotcha. And, uh, gotcha so gotcha. we've I, I was fortunate to be instilled with a good work ethic. And honestly, the entrepreneurship bug didn't hit, didn't bite me. I just really came to understanding that uh, when Taylor and I met, I wanted to encourage her to, you know, pursue her artistic side. But when you're encouraging somebody, you have to, you know, take it upon yourself to take your own advice. Mm -hmm. And so that really instilled another pressure inside of me to go within myself and understand what it is that I want people to understand about me and how it is that we can create art to help the community. So I went to the extent of, well, after I got the studio, I wanted to create opportunities for other businesses to want to come in and partner with us in regards to uh, coming in and vending at different events and we also offer different display cases uh, in different places in the studio where you can rent a, a shelf or a an entire wall in regards to and put your products in the studio and have your studio have your products available in stores here in Tallahassee. Mm -hmm. And so I the way I wanted to actualize that with art is I actually created a portal here in Tallahassee. Okay. I built the 888 Abundance Portal to create an activation to help people understand that, you know, we, there are known obstacles in the world. Mm -hmm. In your lifetime, you're going to manifest a million pieces. So it's up to you to understand how you're going to put those pieces together to create your ultimate reality. And all the small businesses that I invite to come to the studio, I help them understand that in the, within this thoughtful collaboration that we are convening in, we're creating uh, this networking space. And every single time we have the opportunity to come together, like we're all, the community is collectively better for it. And we're, the, our ball, the snowball just keeps getting bigger and bigger. And every event we almost trip, we've doubled in capacity. So okay. I'm super excited for what the future holds. And uh, the portal is currently available in the studio. But uh, very soon, I'll be putting it on the outside of the studio so that it can be seen 24-7. Interesting. Interesting. So you mentioned um, renting out shelf space for businesses, I guess, to um, put their products on display for purchase, um, which almost sounds like an incubator for um, other businesses in, in a way. 
Um, Absolutely. We want to be an epicenter for all holistic wellness products. Okay. And not only do we want to do that, we want to actually give people the opportunity to uh, just create funnels to their website in regards to the things that they do within the space that we have. So mm -hmm. all of the opportunities that we offer aren't necessarily just about, you know, just renting a space and making a month making the money because of course that is what we want to encourage what well, really what we're trying to provide is opportunity in the same way in which we needed opportunity to get to where we are today and uh i, I i'm genuinely thankful for the opportunity to have created a uh, space that artists and people from different backgrounds who diff who specialize in a lot of different uh all the arts essentially and they they come in and they get to you know share their crafts and operate in their purpose and that's exactly what we strive to support here at the studio nice and, uh, so um let me pause i see for uh, attorney felicia thomas is on thank you for being here and uh taylor also agrees that the lawnmower definitely counts too so um so i'm curious about the number of businesses that you are partnering with and i don't know if it's a you know if you have a formal agreement with them or you know some type of mou or what have you in terms of their um the products that they have there on display or for sale about how many um you know businesses are, are partnering with you currently well, that, that's a beautiful question. So mm -hmm. that list is constantly growing daily. And not only is it growing with businesses, it's growing with artists and creatives as well. Like mm -hmm. we're having uh, opportunities where artists are shooting music videos here in the studio. And we actually haven't even had a grand opening yet. We've essentially been operating within a Kaizen protocol in that we are creating the experience that the customer wants in the instance that they want it. Like we specialize in custom events. Mm -hmm. So our growth is, has been uh, very much in tandem with the growth of our impact here in the community. So, uh, after we make all the necessary renovations to the studio, we will have solidified the list with all of the vendors. And you will, un we, I will be able to explain the full breadth of all the wellness tools that we'll provide here at the studio. But mm -hmm. just to give you a sneak peek, like a um, majority of, we, we have things, we have products ranging all the way from uh, facial scrubs, uh, facials. Uh, we also have young ladies who sell hair products. We have uh, opportunities where we, we have so many different types of vendors. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little tongue tied. I can't, it's, it's very difficult for me to go to the full extent, but I wanted to really just speak to the, speak to that we are growing and that list is going to be solidified someday. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So entrepreneurship, holistic wellness, you know, as entrepreneurs, oftentimes we are doing all of the things, right? Especially when you're first getting started. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, because you're wearing so many hats, you are, you are the accountant, you are the marketer, you are the person that's producing the product or service or whatever it is. You are the uh, fundraiser. You, again, you're doing everything, right? And so those typically are going to be oftentimes long hours and um, there's not going to be a, a lot of time for, for wellness. So how important is holistic wellness for entrepreneurs in your opinion? I believe it's it's genuinely important that uh, there be a connection made between the two. And that's what I try to help uh, people understand that uh, operating in your purpose really gives you the opportunity to take the necessary steps to do everything or create systems within your life to support the lifestyle that you want to live. So my business personally, the Cast Life Solutions Enterprise, 
seeks to uh, essentially help people integrate uh, cutting edge technology and known things that we essentially can use to help achieve that lifestyle in regards to better health, um, more access to, and what I really try to encourage with the entrepreneurial tip is that once you really start to invest in understanding what it is that you want to do with your time and how you can optimize what you can do in your free time, you can create opportunities to create funnels to those things that make you happy or the things that you enjoy doing that don't necessarily feel like work. And oftentimes there are ways that you can monetize those things. So I've, I've collaborated with other uh, very esteemed content creators here in the Tallahassee area, and they often come in and teach classes about that. And uh, we're really excited about, uh, of course, encouraging more uh, entrepreneurship, but I also uh, would like to emphasize that, you know, everybody needs uh, structure in regards to how to achieve this wellness that we talk about. So mm -hmm. we try to offer uh, cookbooks, we offer yoga lessons, we offer affirmation cards, journal prompt cards. And I've gone to the extent to try to incorporate them in my daily life by, uh, you know, just decorating with affirmations and creating opportunities for me to just convene with self, uh, because that is where we do most of the heavy lifting in regards to work that we need to do on mm -hmm. ourselves. Mm -hmm. So I'm thankful to have the opportunity to, you know, work with a lot of different uh, vendors who have different lenses on what it is that they want to help people with because some people because what we're trying to encourage is total body wellness so in regards to you know fitness and workout classes but also mental and immune system awareness as well mm -hmm. so using these resources and these books to bridge that gap is what I enjoy specializing in and I've also been working with some cutting edge technology. I actually have my senior design project behind me, which is uh, a fixture that you would put on a backpack so that you could have a solar powered backpack. Mm. And uh, I'm actually just working towards creating a lot of different solutions to people's everyday problems. And uh, I really, my ultimate goal with my GoFundMe is running across the bottom of the screen for if you guys haven't seen it or not, is to turn my van here, the Green Destiny, into an EV. Uh, because, of course, I genuinely do want to save the planet. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting this thing on the road after I graduate. And that's now you, that I'm taking. You're going to have to break that down. What is an EV? So EV, or essentially, it's going to be an EV hybrid, which will use uh, fuel and uh, electricity to be powered. Okay. okay. But this is what I want to create. I, I have I have afforded the opportunity to purchase the van, so I'm going to uh, try to create a zero emissions vehicle. Oh, gotcha. Travel across the country and sell my kits. Of course, uh, I'm definitely going to be looking for a job immediately after I graduate. But uh -huh. it'll okay. be funding the dream, of course. Gotcha. Gotcha. So I, I want to take holistic. I want to take the collaboration that uh, Taylor ha Taylor and I have, the mm -hmm. Cast Life Solutions Prize, Cast Life Solutions Enterprise, and Breathe in Color, and I want to take it across the country. I want to help people understand that, you know, being mentally healthy, physically healthy, and like being on the same page with your immune system is mm -hmm. all something that you can achieve together. If you just take, if you take the initiative. All right. Very good. So let me pause once to, to acknowledge some folks. I see um, on the shoulders of giants, who is Mr. Joseph Ward. Thank you for being on. And he is here in Tallahassee. I appreciate you. And I just saw him at Working Class Wednesday tonight. So 
appreciate you jumping on after a long day's work and then being at a networking event immediately afterwards. And Taylor said, create systems to support the lifestyle you want to live. Love that. Yes. We're going to pick that back up in just a moment, Taylor. Let me say greetings to Susan, my girlfriend in Virginia. Um, and Marjorie is giving you some hand claps. Thank you for being here, Marjorie. I appreciate it. And Johnny said Shark Tank. So I think Johnny is, um, you know, thinking. I think Johnny and I are on the right page. Forward thinking. Yes, indeed, indeed. So um, we are right at about the halfway mark. So let me do my little station ID, which is for those of you who may be just joining us, I am on with Mr. Kosi Sumter, and we are talking about creating or using creativity to inspire holistic wellness and entrepreneurship. Kosi is a current FAMU FSU Engineering School um, student who's about to graduate, but he owns, co-owns um, a uh, creative arts studio, Breathe in Color Arts and Wellness Studio here in Tallahassee at Railroad Village. Um, he and his partner, um, Taylor Parks. Taylor was on last week. For those of you who may have joined us last week, Taylor uh, mentioned the pole dance classes that she offers, and she does those right in the studio as well. So we want to try to get that pole dancing class going. So I'm a, um, I did put some dates out there uh, for you all's consideration, those who express interest in that. But at any rate, we are talking holistic health and entrepreneurship. And so as Taylor mentioned just a little bit ago, creative create systems to support the lifestyle you want to live. Now, I think that is a, um, a great um, thing to aspire to, you know, especially as a young person. So while, um, you know, maybe folks may be thinking, well, yeah, just get a regular job, right? <laughs> you know, I know that's a struggle. As, yes. as a that's, young that's what my mom's telling me every day. Ever, ever, ever since uh, March 1st, probably, she's right. like, uh, Kosi, are you sure you went to college to open that studio? And I'm like, um, measuring the success, because of course she's, I'm sending her all the videos after every event. She's like, wow, that's amazing. Wow. Can you invite me to one of the events? Yeah, okay. Yeah, of course. But uh, I, of course, getting a job is uh, necessary. But what I'm doing now is uh, doing the hard work in regards to understanding what it is that the community needs. Mm -hmm. uh, because like so I, I'm actually from the east side of Atlanta and I, I was born on Hardy Street and mm -hmm. uh, it, it uh, gave me an opportunity to you know be around the people who were uh, genuinely just born hustlers and born just to chase after the things that they wanted in life so in regards to me understanding like what it is that I wanted to create in regards to art I wanted to create opportunity just like that's the thing that I wanted to create. And I believe that I created opportunity by manifesting the portal in that the very first day that I got the keys to the studio, I was donated uh, these bricks that I built the portal with. And uh, my grandfather, uh, who's of the Gullah Geechee tribe out in uh, Hemingway, South Carolina, he mm -hmm. was a brick mason and he course you know pass that knowledge down to my father my father passed it down to me and it pressed upon me to you know <clears throat> go inside myself to take these bricks and to construct something to help people understand that you know the opportunity is there and the, re the lifestyle that we seek is there but you have to accept it in pieces so when I use the bricks to build the obstacle for the portal that I'm genuinely looking forward to everybody coming to see here in Tallahassee. Um, I genuinely want people to understand that as they're peering through uh, the known obstacle that's set before them, I, they can obviously see that it's themselves on the other side because there's a mirror there. And you probably wouldn't have known that if, unless you'd come to the studio to see uh, the portal. But uh, essentially what I do is create, I've created experience for you to attempt to manifest abundance in pieces. 
Mm. You're going to see yourselves in multiple dimensions of perspective because some of the grass is solid, but some of it is broken. And uh, in the way in which we all aspire to entrepreneurship, it's not an easy road. And whenever we, our vendor fees here at the studio and most of our prices, if uh, any of our vendors have caught on, like we all use angel numbers because it's essentially, it's an energy that you, it's an intention that you set in regards to whenever you pay to do an event with Breathing Color. And we are thankful for the opportunity and we want to uh, create with that energy. And that is what we do. So anytime a vendor wants to collaborate with us, it's only uh, 3333. And, uh, in regards to renting the studio for a music video or to teach a class or something, it's only 55 55 an hour. And uh, of course, we have uh, different perks in there for the Rattlers because of course we always gonna look out for our fellow students. And uh, anytime we have repeat customers, we're all, we, the vibes just get better and better. Indeed, indeed. I love the, the, the enthusiasm and the energy. So Taylor put in the comments that the money will flow when your intentions are pure. And so I have a saying that is very similar to that, and that is focus on the hustle and the flow will follow. Indeed. So on the the energy hustle. has to be there. Yeah. Focus, focus on the hustle and the flow will follow. So, you know, I, I think... Again, especially as a young person, um, I know that there's the, the conflict, right? Because you want to follow your passions. You want to follow your dreams. But, you know, the world and adulting are like these bills, though. They real. And so what I applaud more than anything is your the, your, the courage that both you and Taylor have in um you know making this happen even though the world is saying but this but these bills right and Taylor don't get me wrong Taylor does have a full-time job that she's working at but she's also like committed to you know this art studio and the work that's associated with that and the same thing with you I mean you were engineering student for that matter and involved in all of the things at school and you know again have this studio and you are doing this business so I think it's I, I commend both of you I really yeah. do um, well I, I genuinely didn't have a, a traditional just matriculation here at Florida A&M University when I applied the first time I think they lost my application but that was fine because family was my dream school I was gonna come because I knew I was gonna be here but uh, I wanted to play baseball, and uh, that was the reason uh, that I eventually moved from Atlanta, Georgia, to Madison, Georgia, where uh, I eventually played and graduated from Greene County High School. And I was one of the top 96 pitchers in the region. Wow. And, uh, I wanted to walk on to Florida A&M University's baseball team. And um, I, I, I just was so adamant. I just kept reaching out and sending my footage and at one point, I even sent the athletic director my my uh, my huddle, and he was he determined. Was, huh? and, and, and at that point, the baseball coach reached out to me. He was like, "Hey, man, you don't have to email my boss. I want, I really want to meet you. Could you come down and try out?" <laughs> and I try out. I try it out, and uh, I've been down here ever since. I actually mm -hmm. uh, had an opportunity to get into an engineering program, which is the Engineering Concepts Institute. Mm -hmm. And uh, once I got into the engineering program here at the school, I really, of course, my ultimate goal was to go to an esteemed HBC who had their own engineering program. Mm -hmm. Even though the family UFSU was a joint college of engineering, I knew that I would have the ultimate experience and would be able to create the most uh, impact there. And nice. so uh, in that I didn't have the easiest experience, I tried to create that. And I immediately after my freshman year, I earned an internship. And uh, that sophomore, and during my sophomore year, I actually had an opportunity to work as a TA. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was a TA at the College of Engineering for uh, two years. And um, I just got a message for the college, for the high school students because I was a kid that went to after school 
and um, I graduated with the I graduated with I think it was a three nine because I had done a dual enrollment, but I had like a twenty three ACT score. So in regards to me going to college for engineering, they were like, "What? You you should probably you know do engineering technology or pick a different major because you're gonna have to start off in trig." But I didn't let the obstacle get in the way of the dream and uh, the time that I spent here at Florida A&M University. It just gave me more opportunity to see how it is that I could be of service to my community. And ultimately, when I came to college, I wanted to create a system for myself to sustain, you know, a good job and opportunities to make money and help my community. But I also wanted to use cutting edge technology to, you know, better my community in regards to their experience and how to, you know, provide access across uh, all fronts in regards to the new things that are coming to the market and the way in which they're available to us. So I'm, I'm very big on education. So uh, I really like to, you know, help teach and implement different systems to help people. So um, I think I got off on a tangent, but it's cool. We're going to bring you back. We're going to bring you back. So listen, I see your dad is on here. My dad is on here. He is. He said he's so very proud of you. My dad is my hero. Nice. He's, I love it. He's the strongest man I've ever met. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So yeah. tell me about the collaboration i know um i mean you've been talking collaboration without saying it but uh that uh in terms of the of the entrepreneurs how important is collaboration in what you're doing at the studio it's it's uh very much integral to, to our growth in that uh each collaboration that we have an opportunity to make with another business it's not only an opportunity for us to grow to the greater audiences, but what it is that we're trying to do is to create camaraderie around art and wellness, because the way in which you can use art as therapy and the way in which you can achieve wellness by going to a bowl fitness class or taking a Friday evening and going to paint, like there's, different uh, level and there's different opportunities for you to go out and, you know, just live with that creative side of yourself and embrace uh, who you are and what it is that you want to achieve uh, with your body and with your life. Um, and the collaboration aspect is so important because not only are we, have we went to the extent to actualize and operate in our purpose, but everybody that essentially walks through that door is on the path to being ascended body master as well. And that they are at least somewhat interested in how art and, art and wellness can help them. So mm -hmm. we hope to inspire them and we hope that our vendors inspire them to go within themselves and share because essentially the way I believe that communities are supposed to work Everybody essentially has a purpose and everybody has a different way that they can help each other. Yeah. And if we all go to the extent to just, you know, look at others and not necessarily say that, oh, I'm going to be just like them or, but uh, I believe it's uh, Virgil Abloh that came up with the 3% rule and that uh, if you can change it 3%, make it your way, then you are pushing the needle and making life better for some people in the world. So nice. essentially if we get everyone in Tallahassee to push that 3%, we won't necessarily, hopefully we will have a motivated people that won't be, that will continue to not allow, you know, all of these crazy bills and unfortunate uh, rights and circumstances that they actively challenge here in Florida. And, mm -hmm. uh, I'm thankful to be a Rattler because we have such a strong student body that goes out and like our students are always at the protests and our students are always at the Capitol fighting and telling what it, telling the opposing parties what it is that they're doing wrong, 
how these legislations can uh, dampen our experience. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm thankful uh, for all of my fellow Rattlers and uh, I genuinely encourage uh, everyone to, uh, everyone here in Florida to peace, uh, you know, encourage their local party members to, you know, reject House Bill 999. And uh, yeah. All right. Very good. Uh, we got Jerry Smith, also known as DJ Groove, who is on with us. Thank you for being here. He also was at Working Class Wednesday tonight. So, again, right. appreciate those of you who were at both places and y'all are logging on to join the conversation. I appreciate it. Um, so, you know, you talked about collaboration and it being important for um, entrepreneurs and just the folks that come to the space. So who would you say the space is for? Well, <clears throat> the ultimate goal of the Breathing Color Studio is to encourage creative expression. Mm -hmm. So we don't like to put anybody in a box. I okay. can't say he, she, her. I can't put an age on it because okay. Everybody can come here and achieve something. I've Absolutely. even I've had people come here and ask me just to smell the inside of the van because it reminds them of when they were back in the 70s and they had a van just like this. Gotcha. So I can't say the old people can't come because uh -huh. they come to the trap and paint and they party too. Yeah. And we have, of course, the younger collegiate crowd. And then we also have people who come in with their children mm -hmm. and I've, I've also, so we collaborate with artists who are very much esteemed uh, drawers and we have a lot of beautiful art all over the studio. Uh, one of our uh, first resident artists, Patrick Burks, who's a senior graduating here from Florida A&M University. Uh, he's a fan favorite uh, here at the Breathing Color Studio uh, because of some of the beautiful pieces that he has adorned us with here at the studio and mm -hmm. I have also gone to the so the, the children are always very intrigued by his arts and adults as well and I've also gone to the extent to uh, create this manifestation wall in that I saw this book that essentially had uh, essentially was a hundred of the most influential African Americans in it uh, but the book was like donated and it, it started like it was ripping up it it was just very tattered. And so I wanted, I didn't want to throw the book away, but I just didn't see uh, the, life, the life cycle extending behind my hands. So I took it upon myself to repurpose it. And uh, I created a manifestation wall in that I have a uh, hundred uh, uh, African-American dignitaries, athletes, uh, everyone from Mm -hmm. Notables. Yes. Boys, Langston Hughes, all the guys, mm -hmm. Paul Dunbar. I, I, I got everybody in it. Thurgood Marshall, Venus, and Serena yeah. Williams, Muhammad Ali. Mm -hmm. But essentially, what I want people to understand is that uh, in this, in that this is a manifestation, while all of these people were able to manifest their reality in their lifetime, or they died trying. And right. uh, that's the legacy of black people. Like we're not, we haven't necessarily always been gifted the American dream, but we have, we are in fact prisoners of hope. Like uh, my great friend, uh, Mr. Cornell West says. Hmm. Prisoners of hope. I love that. Wow. All right. Well, I, I want you like quickly to um, tell us, a, a bit more in detail. Show us. I know you have the kits right there in front of you, but just give us a snippet of what's in the kit and how folks can get a hold of them. Okay, great. So, essentially, the six items that I've uh, identified to go in the kit are black seed oil, activated charcoal, ginger, clove, garlic, and honey. Okay. And essentially, I found uh, very unique ways. And you have to purchase a product to understand its natural packaging. But okay. essentially, uh, I've put them all in a travel size container, and I've created an opportunity 
My ultimate goal is to get them available at airports in the vending machine. So I actually had an opportunity to work on an ergonomics project here at the Tallahassee International Airport where I optimized their baggage handling system. And I essentially uh, submitted them uh, engineering consultation from the students uh, mm -hmm. in regards to uh, a review or essentially an assessment that we did of the operations there at the airport. And uh, with those fostered relationships, I'm actively working to get uh, the kits available in the airport. Uh, soon. Okay. So tell me, so you have a kit right there in front of you, right? Yes. Okay. So let me see. You said black seed oil? Yes. Okay. You said it's black all... seed oil, ginger, honey, cloves, and what else? Clove, honey sticks, mm -hmm. activated charcoal. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Okay, cool. And mm -hmm. you have a instructional inside that tells folks how to utilize those those items. Absolutely. So okay. essentially, what you would do is scan this QR code, and it would take you to okay. the implementation guide that's on my website. And the implementation guide not only uh, tells you how to use everything in the kit. But it also gives suggestions in how you can use things in combination to achieve wellness quicker. Gotcha. And um, I've also gone to the extent to incorporate AI to help people understand the validity of what it is that I have provided within the kit. And AI has proven to be very effective in helping me uh, bring that information readily accessible to the people. So All right. I'm working to make that technology available. And uh, before it gets too late, I definitely want to uh, debut my uh, foldable solar array as well. Okay. So for those of you who may not be familiar with the term AI, that's not Allen Iverson. That's <laughs> artificial intelligence. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, Johnny Johnson has a question. He wants to know, are you an artist? I am, in fact, an artist. So okay. I have uh, built uh, some installation art here in Tallahassee. Uh, this, this is my very first piece. Uh, so that's what uh, set me on the path to saying okay. that I am an artist. And I'm thankful right. for that. But uh, I don't plan this to be the last portal that I build. I hope to build portals across the country. Mm hmm. Okay, very good. So we are getting close to the end of our broadcast, but I do want to give you an opportunity to give some closing remarks as well as tell folks how they can connect with you. Absolutely. So uh, my main per point of uh, free marketing is my Instagram, uh, King Kosi. Uh, you can follow me there and uh, see recaps from the amazing events that we host. You can also uh, just follow me along in my creation journey. Uh, I currently, <clears throat> I'm currently, of course, working on the immune system support kits. And hopefully I get to continue research on my portable solar array. And mm. uh, what I really want to do is not only uh, update the van with EV technology, but I want to have uh, solar power as well so that I can, uh, you know, power my speakers up there and keep the party going. So uh, I'm genuinely thankful for anyone that's interested in what it is that we're doing here at the studio. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also have, uh, of course, you can, the kits are available online. Uh, my... My website is in my bio on Instagram. Okay. You can find uh, the kits also here in person at the Breathing Color Art and Wellness Studio. All right. And so tell them where the studio is located. It is in Railroad Village at the beginning of Family Way, if mm. you were coming from the west side. So starting... If you're coming from FAMU campus, you actually have to drive past the snake and to uh, drive past the snake and down to the end, closer towards the end of FAMU Way and turn on Mill Street. 
Mm-hmm. If you turn on Mill Street, you'll very quickly see that you are in Railroad Village and we are in Studio B10. All right. So for those of you who are in Tallahassee, some of the other um, businesses over there in Railroad Village that you may be um, familiar with, thank you, Taylor, for putting the address there, uh, are um, the um, Chocolate Wasted Fitness, Viz Productions, um, Girls to Divas is located there, as well as the Omega Lamplighter. So, but um, a, a Sorry about that. Go ahead. I was going to say, I also have a classmate who's a fellow entrepreneur, but he's a Noel, a Florida State student. Uh, mm-hmm. He founded a Curb Caddy, which is a taxi courier service for after parties. And uh, cool. they've been in business, I think, for about uh, three years now. Cool, 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 yeah. cool. So, I mean, yeah, we, got, we got a lot of engineering entrepreneurs out here. I know that's not typical, your everyday average or typical, but. They say yeah. Tallahassee is in a different dimension. I'm not going to uh, deny it. It is. It is. So 1872 Mill Street, um, Breathe and Color Art and Wellness Studio that is listed on the screen. Again, thank you, Taylor, for putting that up. Um, so I, again, just applaud your effort and you know, wish you much success um, on your you journey. Thank you Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I, you know, again, I think the thing more than anything, you know, I, I've enjoyed the conversation, but um, more than anything, I want to showcase what young people are doing. And, um, you know, again, uh, against the grain, against what, you know, the, you know, I, what, what, Maybe the all, all, all known op- against all known obstacles plus right, 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 mm-hmm. right, right, right. Exactly, you still are, are, are pushing forth and, and doing what what feels right and um, is you right. Um, I, I'd it, like to say I'm thankful for the College of Love and Charity, Florida A and M University, that mm-hmm. uh, activated me on my entrepreneurship path. Because I love it. If it weren't not for all the internship opportunities that I was afforded, I wouldn't have been able to understand how I could, you know, use my resources being, you know, just knowing a lot of people that were aspiring entrepreneurs and just going to the extent to create a space for us to come together. And now just like uh, Ford or Northrop Grumman or Verizon Wireless, any, any company that, you know, takes, an absorbent amount of components and puts it together to make a marquee product. We're going to do the, just like Chick-fil-A, we're going to do the exact same thing with some excellent customer service. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So again, applaud you for doing it. Um, Hopefully this has been beneficial for you, the viewers, at least to dream and think and know that you can do it. Like, you know, for you all to dream this up and to bring it to fruition and to continue to evolve it and transform it um, is 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 commendable. And kudos to to you and to all the folks that that come to the space and are encouraged and inspired and um, and in search of themselves and not afraid to be themselves and, and, and be creative and successful. Um, in their life's work, their passion, their purpose, and, um, you know, what they've been called to do. So I, again, want to thank you, Mr. Kosey Sumter, uh, fellow Rattler, and uh, soon to be graduate. Indeed, Um, I'll be a Rattler alum very soon. And to the audience, thank you so much for attending. And please reach out to Cast Life Solutions Enterprise with any known obstacle that you might have. And I'm pretty sure we can establish a system to get over that. And uh, all right, I'm all an aspiring right. industrial systems engineer, and I'll be there for you. Sky's all right. The there you go. The sky's the limit. So I appreciate it. Listen, um, Friday, we have um, my regular show, uh, which features Mr. Vaughn Wilson of Mega Ace Productions. So that'll be on at 7 a.m. on Conversations with Nicole. YouTube and on the Greater Words Network on Roku TV. Uh, tomorrow, 
tomorrow, nine to five, I will be at the AC Hotel for Fair Housing, the Fair Housing Conference. Um, that is being put on by the city of Tallahassee, Wells Fargo, and Prime Meridian Bank here in town. It is absolutely free. You can go to the city um, website, talgov.com, and type in fair housing, and the information will pop up. There will be um, lots of information regarding some of the new policies and changes to fair housing, um, as well as um, information around insurance and real estate and some other um, things. So I actually had a show about it yesterday. So you can go back and, and check that out. But Fair has Fair Housing Month. This this year we're celebrating 55 years of the wow. Fair Housing Act. Yes, that Maybe. came out in 1968. So uh, definitely you know, become abreast and up to speed on all of those things that are taking place. And um, yeah, just follow us on Conversations with Nicole, Facebook, YouTube, and on the uh, on Instagram. So again, thank you, Kosi. Thank you, viewers. And we will see y'all next time on Conversations with Nicole. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes. And uh, feel free to check out that GoFundMe. No donation is too great or too small. We accept them all in abundance. All right. Wonderful. All right. Y'all have a great evening. Bye.